Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the frizz today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. <clears throat> Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it, guys. Today's beer comes from Three Weavers Brewing Company. This is their Vela, B-E-L-A. And these guys are out of Inglewood, California. Uh, this was sent to me by Bill. Go check out his channel. He's a beer reviewer also. Beer Hounds. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, show him a little love. Give him some thumbs up and uh, check him out. Alright guys, it says here it is Vila Hazy IPA Malt Two Row Wheat Oats a hops are Mosaic, Citra, and Idaho. The yeast is A38, it looks like it is. Flavor profile, juicy with hints of ripe stone fruit, pineapple, and lemon. Uh, hazy IPA on the back side here, guys. 6.5% uh, alcohol by volume written underneath here, but it's written so small and in a little tiny font and gold letters very hard to see uh, don't see any uh, any dating I'm gonna double check here because sometimes they write it in crazy places and write stuff and I don't see it guys I don't see it so uh, evidently uh, they're not dating their stuff at three weavers or this one got past the machine one or the other anyway uh, let's jump over to Untapped. Uh, no description uh, at all. Nothing written here. It looks hazy in the glasses and the picture's there. So, I guess we've gone over everything. So, Bill, thanks a bunch, my brother. I do appreciate it. Alright, into the glass we go. Not sure I've ever had anything from Three Weavers. The name sounds familiar, but I didn't go back and check, guys. If I have, I have. I kind of do these beers like, if, even if I've had it ten times, it's the first time I've ever had it. Because a lot of times recipes change, man. I've brewed the same stuff before multiple times and it tastes different and things happen. Things change. Almost two fingers of head on that poor guy. It looks very hazy. Uh, not milkshake hazy, but hazy enough to be probably considered in the New England style, but these guys are in California, so maybe it's a hazy West Coast style. Mmm. To the nose we go. Ah, oh, it's got a very strong hop presence. Yes, I'm getting stone fruit, I'm getting mango, I'm getting... I'm getting hints of grapefruit, I'm getting... Pineapple, there's some tropical fruit notes in there for sure. Nice and citrusy. Smells delightful, guys. I mean, that's got a very, very pleasant smell. Doesn't smell like a West Coast style, guys. So, is it a hoppy West Coast style or is it a smooth, easy, less bitter drinking New England style? Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Bill. The hops are there, but they're not off the chain in the taste. It's very pleasant, though. That's a very tasty beer. I think it's well done. Super smooth. It doesn't taste bitter to me. It doesn't taste like West Coast style. So, Untapped is, has it listed as a New England style, so I'm going to agree with that. Yeah. The appearance gets it into there. And the taste, yeah. It doesn't have the 100 IBUs, and it's a, a little less uh, bitter and uh, sweeter, too. So, very nice. And it's leaving an excellent lacing on the glass already, so I like it. 
this would be a good one six and a half percent almost to my go-to uh, ABV range but probably close enough if I could get this here at a reasonable price it could very well become a go-to beer in my fridge yes very nice very nice strange artwork on the can but you know that's a thing nowadays you know don't be the be different be yourself be whatever <laughs> be somebody I'm gonna go sip on this one be right back all right guys I'm back got a little left nice slicing and stuff on the glass this is like grapefruit pineapple juice nice citrusy getting a little tropical fruit notes I like it it's a little on the thin side six and a half percent but I think it's it's a very tasty well-made beer guys uh, have I had better yes have I had worse yes so decent beer I'm sure it's got a real pleasant I don't want to say fruity but when I say fruity I'm thinking oranges mango and not like candy fruit uh, tropical fruitiness yes Very pleasant, very easy drinking, nice and tropical. I like it, guys. To me, if it had a date on it, it would have got the 90. It would have got into the A minus category. But it has no date. So, it drops back a notch. 89 on this one, guys. A beer and a B can. Imagine that. Uh, and I don't think uh, it's a new release. Uh, I, I know it's fresh, and Bill's picked up the precious he could get his paws on uh, this particular one got through without uh, anything being stamped on it so I don't know if that's a anomaly for the brewery or they, they don't date I, I don't have any information on that guy maybe Bill will post something on that maybe he has one that has a date on or knows something about it I did not research it I don't have time for that anymore there was a time that I would try to dig into that, but though that river's run under the bridge a long, 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 long time ago. So uh, this day and age, if you don't do it, you don't get a second chance. All right, and again, that would keep me from purchasing this beer if it was available here. If I go in and I pick it up and there's nothing on it, it goes back. Unless it's something that I know is fresh. So. Uh, no, nothing over on Beer Advocate, and over at Untapped they have it at 3.79, which is barely over their B+. It just barely got into the B+, range. 3.75, they got 3.79, so a couple of notches there, a couple points past their B+, rating. Uh, so I'm giving it a little bit better grade than those, and they've only had 110 people uh, post comments or, or ratings or about this beer so I feel pretty comfortable it's a pretty new release <clears throat> so again taste your beer I enjoyed it Bill thanks a bunch if you had Vela V-E-L-A from Three Weavers Brewing let me know what you think guys maybe your can had a date on it <laughs> till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge